We've got our co-main event walking out to the cage right now. Nate White, with a record of three and one out of true MMA, is making his inaugural walk to the cage, Titans cage. This is one of our more experienced matchups on the car. We have three and one, Nate White taking on five and three, Zach Fritzkill. Uh, I mean, we've seen a lot of debuting fighters. They haven't disappointed. They brought the fight two pins, and these experienced warriors are gonna do no less. Yeah, some, some of these, uh, of the newer fighters have brought some incredibly high level techniques into the cage. So to see these two with so many fights uh, to their name is outstanding. What do we have, eight and four, so 12 fights uh, between the two of them. I, we've seen a true MMA, we've seen an Apex Training Center fighter already in the cage tonight, so we know that their skills are gonna be great. Something I would note as well, speaking on the difference in experience that these two bring, we've seen some very interesting and some unorthodox Muay Thai from the less experienced fighters so far, but um, I've actually seen Zachary Fritz kill fight a few times, and he is gonna be coming in with explosiveness, athleticism, killer intention, but also very clean, crisp, by the book Muay Thai. I'm curious to see uh, curious to see what Nate White's style is going to look like. I've actually not witnessed his fights before. He comes from True MMA. Mike True there is a City Otong product. I know uh, they, they definitely teach strict Muay Thai there, but they also, being an MMA school, are pretty diverse. So, so maybe he'll also have a very clean technical Muay Thai with a little bit of something else mixed in. Yeah, I, I suspect he will have some technical Muay Thai for sure. Yeah. Fritz Kill makes his entrance, and I'm gonna go get these guys warmed up. Both of these men are uh, physical specimens. I was both, have a, both have a very ripped six pack. I wish I had better abs than I fought, personally. You literally took it out of my head. I was thinking, man, these two are in really good shape. They just both look muscular. All and right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for our 10th bout of the evening, for it is our co-main event. Well, Eric Intro Spicely did say abs don't first, win fights, but they the do make body the punches a little, body punches a little bit less effective defeat. than uh, shoves. So they've got that going for them. And least. he weighed in at 159 pounds. pounds. Definitely, when both fighters have abs, Drew abs win the fight on one end. Hey, let's hear it for Nate White. Once again, and though, we've got another example where one fighter is significantly taller the than the other. Corner. And while it's a, a sport like boxing, there are strategies that a shorter fighter can use to maximize his tall, physical advantages fighting in close with the clinch game pounds. in play. That doesn't work the same way in Muay Thai. Muay Thai favors the taller man in the clinch. And obviously, a height advantage with strikes are involved. Plays, uh, plays a role in the outcome, so Our I feel like uh, is I feel like the physicality Bonner. and the build of White is going to offset the greater amount of experience that Fritz Kill brings in. That's a fun name to say, Fritz Kill. Fritz yeah, by Kill. the way, Fritz Kill, that is a very intimidating name in and of itself. No nickname required. They touch him up, and they're in another clash of builds, the tall and lanky Nate White versus the short and stocky. Fritz Kill Zachary throwing Ryan serious heat on his kicks. And he said he's uh, kind of, he didn't cut any weight for this. He's fighting a uh, weight class up. He usually fights at 45. Trying for the dump. Beautiful speed and accuracy on those kicks to the body from Fritz Kill. But Nate White starting off. Land some great shots in close on his own. Nice knee to the body. Both these men very sharp with everything. Great sweep by Fritz Kill. Excellent. Mean mugging him on the way up as well. Great it, timing on that trip. Oh, nice right hand from White. That, that trip came at a, or a sweep came at an end of an exchange that was pretty close. Oh, that's a liver shot. That caught him right at the liver and drops him for a standing eight count. Whoa. As we were just discussing, the clinch does heavily favor the taller man, and though Fritz Kill has been competitive in that range, the stronger shots do seem to be landing in there for White. Bonnie's Ooh. gonna be a target now. Lands another. You know, Fritz Kill was landing heavy leather, and. White just was able to counter with that devastating knee to the liver. Unbelievable exchanges with horrible intentions from these two animals. Both Power in Fritz Kill's strikes though, despite the fact that he's walking backwards, White has to be careful. If he runs into one of those flush, it is not gonna be a good time. Fritz Kill throws everything with horrible intentions. 
Big power on those switch kicks to the body. Oh, nice left hook from White and a nice knee to the bread basket. Beautiful knee right there, beautiful. Oh, beautiful left hook. Returning with those leg kicks. This is, this is a high level fight. Absolutely. Definitely co-main event material. Super impressive. Great knees. Exchanging knees for that last couple of seconds of that first round. We saw back and forth action. We saw devastating flurry set up by the hands, mixing in a lot of lightning fast kicks from Zachariah Fritz Kill. But the shot of the round was that horrific left knee. And that it does put White up. up with a 10-8 round leading in to the rest of this fight. Not necessarily. The knockdown doesn't automatically count for a 10-8 round, but it's pretty much a shoe in for the win. Um, we haven't seen too many 10-8 rounds, despite being a couple of knockdowns. So that's I don't very know interesting. About that, I, you're, that's a good point, actually. You are right. We, uh, in the rules meeting, were discussing that with the commission, and they actually said that a 10-8 would be automatic were a fighter to take a standing eight count, but the judges do not seem to have been implementing that. They haven't. So uh, this, is, this is the first time that we're doing a Muay Thai event here, so I'm not sure about the rule clarification and communication, but... Good point. Uh, the uncertainty makes this even more exciting, I think. This right. isn't my first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. But an exciting round nonetheless. And again, the most devastating shot was that left knee to the midsection from Nate White. Round two about to go. And these guys, uh, just um, the experience is showing significantly. Beautiful return kick to the body. White's corner is calling for that knee, and he looks like he's getting ready to set that up right down the middle. Throws across the set, oh, followed by a teeth to the face. Fritz Kill looking a little wobbly after that, but returning fire. Ooh, heavy hook. It's a great check hook that he has. Returns the kicks of his own. Oh, nice uppercut leading. I appreciate how White is always making sure to throw the last kick. They always say be first, but in Muay Thai, oftentimes being last with your kick is what wins the exchange for you. Speaking of kicks, that left leg of uh, Nate White is starting to get a bit injured because Fritz Kill landed a devastating left, uh, uh, devastating leg kick that kind of froze White up there in an exchange. Waded into the clinch, however, where he does not want to be with a guy like White. I spoke too soon, scores the takedown, however, but he winces in pain from the knees that he took on the way. Hey, Ken Moore, he scored the two. We're fighting after this. Oh, another one. Another takedown. Very nice. Two I from must say, I feel cage. like White may be, a, it might be a little early to Oh, say. big right hand from Nate White oh. and a check hook from Fritz Kill. Here, these men are throwing. We said White has to be careful coming in with aggression, and he ate a devastating left hook counter. Beautiful angle by Fritz Kill to set that up. He took a punch for his wear, but... Exchanging knees. White continues oh. to get the better of it. Oh, big knee. Wow, Fritz Kill is strong. I had to see him go for broke. Big left hook from Fritz Kill, followed by a knee of his own. Head kick. Interesting round, a couple of dumps from Fritz Kill and back and forth action from the rest of it. No idea how these scorings are going, but what an entertaining fight nonetheless. Both men landing their shots effectively and showcasing why they were allotted this co-main event slot. Definitely, I, I feel like the technique of these two gentlemen makes every one of their shots very scary. It seems like either of them could drop from any strike that's thrown and it just makes the fight incredibly fun to watch. I feel like a lesser man would have fallen from any of those shots. Honestly, some of these, so the punches, the kicks, the knees, it seems like everything is thrown with bad intention, yet beautiful technique. Absolutely, I'm wincing from outside of the cage. I can't imagine what it's like being on the uh, receiving end of that. Fritz Kill definitely a little more of the brawler of the two, but I mean, he's making it work. I appreciate, though, he he does brawl, for sure. He's gritty, but he does it with impeccable technique. I, I wish they very clean. his leg guard. And lightning fast, lightning fast speed along with that technique. I'm very surprised with the speed. Fast twitch. Very fast twitch. Something very that both of these men have, for sure. Attacking that lead leg again and that a devastating hook. couple of left hooks. 
over the top from Fritzkill. It is a great hook. Fritzkill going in for the kill. Oh, nice knee and a Another dump. Another dump. He's starting to find the counter to those knees and they don't, you wouldn't think they'd do damage, but landing from that high when you're not expecting it takes the wind out of you. <laughs> Switches to the sidekick. They call that the bandana split. Oh, nice leg kick on the return from Nate White. Fritzkill's abandoned that leg kick. He's, that left leg has taken a significant amount of damage from Nate White. Goes high with the switch kick. Lands the body kick that time, followed by the leg kick, narrowly evades the hook from White. You see that leg buckling after every single punt, leg kick lands. It's paying dividends for Fritzkill. Very there's his there again, is. another one buckled him. Very heavy leg kicks. Fritz Kill's dumps seem to be deterring White from going to back Whoa. to the clinch. And he's really setting up those kicks with his hands very well, like we've heard all night long, that, that being so important. <laughs> nice teeth off that miss. Looks oh. for another dump. Oh. Is he? Oh, careful. Knee went to the chest. Oh, it looked like maybe to the head almost. Oh, almost. oh left hook. Oh, exchange. there's one of those knees. Another dump. Two. Very so, habit, nice. Habit, habit. Don't no, fight me, Ken. <laughs> it is excellent. The oh, way nice right hand. Seems to sting him. The way he's countering that knee by dumping him. But again, when you land and get the breath knocked out of you from it and it's have tough. to spend the energy to get back up, it does discourage you. Makes you not want to throw that knee anymore, even though that has been the biggest success from White. Nice. Oh, devastating left hand. Might have done the chicken dance for a second, did Nate White. Uh, what Ooh, a fight! Wow. Talk about action from wow. bell to bell. That was three right. rounds of chaos. Unbelievable co-main event between Zachariah Fritzkill and Nate White. Both men finding many successes in many different facets. The dumps, the knees to the body, the punches to the face, the kicks to the leg. Muay Thai at its finest. Welcome to Cage Titans. What a sport we have. Oh my God, I love my job. A combat is just, it's exhilarating. I love it. How I do don't you even I don't even know. Um, I would be inclined, believe it or not, despite that shift of momentum, based on the uh, scoring criteria we discussed earlier, I would lean that towards White yep. with the with the clinch knees. Although actually, two big dumps, three from dumps the clinch. first knees. How does that how does that score in Muay Thai? There, were, there was three or four in that third in the, round. In the third round, the last round was significant. The last round was definitely for Fritz Kill. I'm talking about that second round. That's what I'm wondering about. We've had a couple of those matchups tonight, but guess who gets to know first? Yours truly. I'm getting it right <laughs> now. <laughs> Jealous. I will accept spoilers if you want to give them. As long as it's not about Stranger Things, I think everyone will be cool. I agree with that. I'm only on the first episode right now. Uh, that people will kill you if you were to spoil that. So Absolutely. Just the fights. That's tough, man. That's tough. The way these judges have been going. Uh, maybe Fritz kill, but when you know the criteria of Muay Thai, you lean towards white. Regardless. Although, actually, I may retract that because dumps from the clinch are worth a lot. So, actually, I am very curious, and I would hesitate to even give my opinion on who won that second round. Especially, it feels like such a distant memory after such an action-packed third round. I feel like they're both winners, really. They're both going to learn from the experience of fighting tonight and spiral it into positive things. So, win or lose, these guys are clearly some top prospects on the Muay Thai scene. Each fight of the main card has been getting better and better. Just when we're like, oh, this is definitely fight yep. of the night. Someone else comes along and tops it. They were just so impressive with their technique. It was like a beautiful thing to watch. Let's hear it for these Not two warriors, ladies and gentlemen. What a co-main event that to kick off. Cage Chris Titans, Christine combat technique. night. Yep. It's like watching someone play Russian roulette. The judges have rendered their decision after three rounds of action. Judge Jason Grenier scores this contest 29 to 27 for Nate White. And judges Sean Flanagan and David Ginsburg score this contest at 28 28, giving you a majority draw. Man, wow. I mean, hey, it happens. Yeah. Mike well. Trucy is upset. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I think that you noticed that there was a. A 29-27. That one that more one round. judge clearly one did more round. Uh, go by the 10-8. 10-8. Yeah, we can't do it. It would be very cool if we could. That was a legit knockdown. That I mean, beautiful knee to the to the midsection. All right, guys. 
You both laid it all on the line. Make some noise for both these guys. This is what this sport's all about, the martial arts, getting in here, competing, about the experience. It's not about wins and losses, it's about getting the experience. How did it feel, my man? It hurt. <laughs> Zach, here, come on over here. Honesty. What do you got to say about your opponent, man? What an unbelievable brawl you guys had. Yeah, he's tough. Tough as hell for only four fights. So, yeah, he's good. You guys have, you have a lot of experience, so, you know, going into this fight, you had the edge and experience. What did he bring to you that you weren't expecting? Uh, I, I kind of knew he was going to try to need me a lot. I'm a tinier fighter, um, and I'm always dealing with taller fighters. Um, I took some time off. I had a bad injury, so I'm, I'm back. I think he also played on that at the time that I had some ring rust. But I'm a martial artist, man. Like, you got to knock me out and put me away to make me stop. I'm supposed to do this. This is my life. So uh, I'm just happy to be back in here, happy to be part of Cage Titans. Happy for a great crowd. You guys are amazing. Thank I had so much support in this fight. I had so much support in this fight. Um, well, there you go. Make some noise for Zach Fritz Kill. On that note, what stands out as most impressive to me about Nate, Fritz Ooh, you get the opportunity to compete on this first Cage Titans Muay Thai combat card in front of this hometown crowd for you. How does it feel to hear all this support? Oh, it's awesome. And you guys treated us great. And so if I put on a good fight, you guys think he put on a good fight? So you obviously given up a little bit of experience. What did he bring to the table that, you know, you weren't expecting? Uh, I, that's what I expected. I expected him to come forward and come hard, and that's what he did. Well, there you go. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I'd love to see it again if you guys want to do it down the line. Maybe not next. But sometime in the future, we'd love to see you guys do it one more time. Thank you so much, guys. Maybe for a title. Come on, get loud for those guys. So what impressed me most about um, Fritz Kill there was not just his tenacity because he weathered that storm and came back, but actually his intelligence, how he adapted to that 